Eid is the time for Winnipeg's Muslim community to come together, to reconnect after a month of fasting and reflection during the holy month of Ramadan. Normally we are, we are busy with our lives and work and all, but these two days, like this Eid and the one uh, Eid that's coming two months later, it's like one opportunity, one day where we all come together, you know, and it's really good. Zain Siddiqui is an international student originally from Pakistan. He says days like Eid remind him of home. It's good to see, you know, like this community uh, over the years, it has it has grown. So it's good to have that those people, you know, it gives you that sense of being home. At least like for two times in a year, you get that sense that there are similar people around and you're not alone. In previous years, the Manitoba Islamic Association held Eid prayers at the RBC Convention Centre, but that space wasn't available this year. Instead, they held events across the city, with the largest one at the Assiniboia Downs Event Centre. It's kind of a sad story, but you know, it's in other way, it's very good also. We spread out around the city. Winnipeg's Muslim community is quickly growing, making it difficult to find a space for the community to congregate. The community grew by leaps and bounds. Um, the first year after COVID, when we were allowed to congregate and we were gathered, we had two prayers planned at RBC and we had to have an impromptu third prayer because people still were coming in. Eid at Assiniboia Downs attracted politicians from all levels of government and all parties. It means a lot to Latif to see the city and province support his community. We're very happy to see them because they are supporting us for the years. It's good, very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Even though prayer events happened across the city this morning, Latif hopes to return to the RBC Convention Center next year, bringing the community together to pray under one roof. Stephanie Cram, CBC News, Winnipeg.